Hello and welcome along to another episode of this Snooker 19 career, the other O'Sullivan with me, Daniel. It's episode 20 and today we're back for the Gibraltar Open as we play a third round match against Neil Robertson. He's a top 10 player and he'd expect to be beating us, so it is going to be a pretty big challenge and we're already part way through the match, so we'll take a look at our progress in a moment. But first I've got to talk about a bit of embarrassment. If you haven't seen the last couple of episodes yet, we played in our second career ranking final, so do go back and catch up with them. I'll put a link in the eye above to the first one, so you can follow the final from the start of our content. But at the end of the previous episode, we did talk about a competition we were really excited to show some content from. That competition was the snooker shootout and we talked about getting through the first round against a lower ranked opponent and then coming back for one of the big matches. So as it turned out everything was going well. With three minutes left on the clock, for those of you that don't know with the snooker shootout the frame has a ten minute clock and whoever's winning after those ten minutes gets through and you also only get fifteen to twenty seconds per shot and there's a little clock that counts you down for each one. So with three minutes to go it was all looking rosy. We were fifty two points ahead with 59 on the table. I tried to play a slightly more flamboyant shot than needed and we managed to miss the red on that occasion and then our opponent ranked number 94 in the world came back and cleaned up the table just managed to do it in time as well so we went out by two points in the end and lost in round one. So as a result I can't show you anything from that one but we're obviously now back for the following tournament and we've got a brilliant match in store for you here in the Gibraltar Open and it's a great way to bring up 20 episodes. I career record's looking much better at the moment. You can see we've won the last two rounds in this one. 3-1 against Zhang Ander and then 3-0 against Graham Dot. Not the best matches and we weren't too fluent in our break building but we did the job and we were efficient enough to get through and now we're in the third round against Neil Robertson. You can see the score in the corner as we update you with our progress. It's two frames all in a best of five match. We're going to a decider and it's been a brilliant high quality game. Two century breaks, one from each player. We've got a new high break of our career, 120 in the previous frame of this one we won the first frame with an 83 break, it looked like we were on for 100 but we played a silly positional shot and got out of shape, unfortunately we couldn't quite make it then Neil Robertson came back with back to back frames one frame where he got a break of 50 and 60 and one where he got about 102 and then we bounced back with 120 to take us into this decider today, if we get through into the 4th round we really will be able to start thinking about a victory or at least get into another final as we have twice already this year. The one other thing I wanted to talk about is since the last episode on camera there has been a massive update to the game and it's really changed the graphics around the table and in the crowd in the background too and it's been a really high quality update so a massive well done to the creators of the game. It's still a fantastic immersive experience and I'm enjoying it just as much after 20 episodes. So let's go and get into this decider against Neil Robertson, another top 10 player we hope to be shocking and we'll be back in a moment for the break off. It'll be Sean O'Sullivan to break. Here we go then with the break off in the decider of this third round match. A really good game it's been and I just hope that this frames as high quality. It doesn't really matter which one of us gets a century. We'd obviously like to get through ourselves. You can see the presentation now is much cleaner and the ball's far clearer on the table. It really is a brilliant improvement to the game and we've got a nice bit of light floor in too. The crowd looks far more realistic. Everything's been improved massively. I think Neil Robertson's just put in the first red. We were so focused on the surrounding that we didn't realise we left him half a chance from the break off and he can now start to build a big break. He's potted the black but he's not tried to get on a red so thankfully for us it will just be a break of eight. I'm presuming he'll play a safety shot here and then we'll be back into a nice exchange. A tense final frame exactly what we didn't want after four brilliant ones with high scoring breaks. Neil Robertson's covered the loose red so we're not going to be able to get to the potting angle of that. We are going to have to play safe off the pack as a result and we've not hit it hard enough. We were aiming for 41% and we only caught it 36 but we've got a massive slice of luck there. Sorry if you heard the little celebration in the background. The red drops into the corner pocket and we've got a perfect angle on the blue too. We couldn't have asked for much more than that and maybe it's going to be our lucky day. We didn't get much luck in the last episode but this one could be a little bit different. We could be on our way through to the fourth round and we've got to do it against the top 10 player. A good shot on the blue which leaves us on two reds. We're going to get the more difficult one out of the way. That should leave us nicely on the black and we can start to think about a big break from there. 
We've set up the screw back so we're a little bit low on the black. Just allows us to come up the table if need be. But we've overhit that a bit and we have screwed back too far. Which means we're now almost straight on the black. And we're going to have to play for the loose red at the bottom. That's going to be a more difficult pot. But as long as we pot the black, we continue to build our lead. It drops in nicely and we've got a good angle on the red. Though it is going to be difficult to get on a good colour from here. Let's try and set it up nevertheless. We are feeling a bit more fluent at the table here. And we're doing a decent job to be honest. So there's not too many complaints at the moment. We're going to take all of the power off this though. We just want to make sure we see the red in. 13% power and the cue ball might follow it you know. Have we hit it a bit too hard? The cue ball just stays out of the corner pocket. And although we haven't got a good angle on the black. We have got a pretty much straight yellow. It is a long pot but it should be easy enough. So we're going to put that one in and try and get back down the table. The most important thing is that we pot the colour. We've managed to do that and we have just kissed the brown. Is it going to leave us a little bit of luck? I don't think it is. The red's going to be hard to pot. We haven't got an angle to the bottom corner. And I don't think we've got a great one to the middle. We might be able to pot it. But are we going to be able to get on a colour? And is it going to leave us in a good position in this frame? Or a better one than if we just play the safety? Either way, I don't know what safety means. So we're just going to play for the pot. It looks like the reds into the middle pocket and we managed to get on the black too it will be the end of our break after that one but it's good to add another eight points so the black's in that's the most important bit we're never going to get on a red from here so we're just going to hammer it in and try and push the cue ball through it's gone past all of the reds and we're going to have to play safe with the next one no pot on then as you can see so we're going to have to play a safety shot we're just going to try and come up the table 40% power should take us back up to the ball cushion although we have cannon to red on the way back through absolute disaster for us there and we've gifted Neil Robertson a brilliant chance and he's taken most of the ones he's had so far we might not get another chance at the table but we'll be back in a moment if we do get another shot even in a really high quality match like this, where both players are building breaks fluently, Neil Robertson's managed to bottle it in the final frame. He's missed a simple black off the spot and left us a good chance to build a break ourselves here. All of the reds are spread. We haven't got much work to do, so hopefully we'll be able to put ourselves in a winning position. He put on 29 and he did go ahead of us, but this black will put us back in the lead. There's two reds up the top of the table and one here loose above the black spot, so it is going to be tricky to decide at the moment, but we just going to play it simple for now and stick to the ones at this end of the table. We've potted the black which is the most important thing and we've got a nice angle on the red to the bottom corner. Let's just make sure we get that one in. If we can hold for the black again then great and it should leave us a natural angle to come off the cushion and try and get up for one of the higher reds. So 19% power. We've hit that pretty perfectly. The red drops in and we are on the black. We've got an option to go green if we prefer but I think we want to get the points on the board as quickly as possible. You can't blame me for that as one or two points could be a crucial difference in this tie particularly in the last frame where it always seems to get tense so we're going to try and play off the bottom cushion we've got to try and cannon these two reds hopefully we'll be able to do that at 45 percent power but we've under hit it and we've completely missed them i've just got to hope we can get to the red behind the yellow i think i've managed to cover that as well so that could be the end of break what a disaster that is we can get to the red but not the potting angle so unfortunately that's going to be the end of it for us. We're going to try and play a safety shot but it's quite difficult with all four reds in different ends of the table and it means we're almost certain to make a mistake here so we're just going to try and nestle on this top red. Not try and take any risks not try and do anything fancy we've under hit it slightly though. I don't think we're going to make contact. This could be a disaster. Are we going to hit it? We have not reached the red. That is one of the worst shots we've ever played in this career and Neil Robertson can now get in charge by playing an attacking safety. He's chosen to stay on the top cushion and he's got the red in behind the green and although we can hit the other red there we're not going to be able to pot it so he's forcing us to play safe it's almost like he knows we can't do it so 50 percent power we want to try and keep the cue ball up here and are we going to be able to do that or have we made a complete hash of it we've done the latter as the red's been left onto the bottom corner the colors are all over the place that was a terrible shot safety is still the area we need to improve as neil robertson starts his break i think that's about curtains for our chances the gibraltar open has not gone well despite this very high quality match or at least it was for the first four frames let's go and see if neil robertson clears up and we'll be back in a moment if we get another chance or to praise the aussie for his victory 
Well, is this our lucky day or what? Neil Robertson was cruising to victory. We'd almost stopped paying attention, to be honest. And then off a simple red, he instead missed contact with it, hit the bottom cushion, came back and made contact with the black. And now we're going to be at the table with every chance of making things happen. The reds aren't in the best position in the world. I don't know if we want to take the risk on cutting one or if we're going to force Neil Robertson to retake his shot. I think we're going to go and do that. So let's see what he can do with it. I know that the colours are protecting the cue ball but there's plenty of space to get to the reds and this time he's made a good thing contact that's going to be a decent safety shot in fact it's ended up hitting the brown and the pink might have come to his rescue here it could well have snookered us on both of the reds he's got very lucky there off a poor shot I'm not quite sure which one we're going to go for I think we're going to try and connect with this second red but it's going to be risky off the cushion as it means we might hit the black if we miss it but let's go for it 20% power we just want to make a decent contact and hopefully not give away four points we narrowly missed the red it couldn't have been much finer we just skimmed past the edge of it but no contact was made and that's four points to neil robertson the scores are level at 48 apiece and this has certainly been a dramatic climax neil robertson should finish it from here though the first red goes in and he's on the black nicely i think unfortunately it's third time unlucky for us neil robertson will get the job done this time we'll be back in a moment to review his victory unless something really awful happens and we get an another chance at the table if not we'll be looking ahead to our next episode and maybe even our first world championships match this is getting silly now both players really stumbling as the finish line gets closer he's missed a straight pink down to the bottom corner and as a result we're now back for the start of the colors we trail by nine points but there's still obviously 27 remaining and if we can find a good angle to get onto this green we'd certainly be the favorite for the frame we've managed to pot the yellow that's the most important bit and we've got enough of an angle on the green to reach the brown but we've got to make sure we pot the color as it's not the easiest pot in the world and it could all go wrong yet we're going to try and screw back as well we want to make sure we get on the brown i've no idea where the cue ball's going we're not getting much of a hand from there we've missed the green we've tried to hit it too hard and is it going to go over the middle pocket i think that's going to be an easy pot for him and we've wasted a fourth chance to win this frame this has been an absolute disaster all round and if robertson pots the green we will start to commiserate ourselves on defeat he's cannoned it off the blue i'm sure he didn't intend that but the green has dropped and i think he's covered the brown i think this frame might still be on you know what on earth is going on here a crazy last frame after such a high quality match both players look absolutely amateurish now it looks like the cue ball's almost been potted there neil robertson neil making robertson a hash of the safety three. but we're 10 points behind with 22 remaining and there's four colors deciding who'll win this match as you've seen in this career, almost every time we've got into a safety exchange, we have ended up losing it. So I'm going to go for the thin cut on the brown here. 65% power. We've really underhit it. The brown drops in, though. That's the important bit. We're four points closer, but we're going to have to do the same on the blue, as that's going to be an even thinner cut to put us in pole position to win this frame. So we're going to try and cut the blue in two. And again, if we could finish where we were this time, that would be absolutely lovely. We've got to get down for the pink next. Let's see if we can pop the blue we've overhit it slightly and we've missed it it's been hit a bit too thick the blue is going to be over the corner as well it looks like an almost straight part and at the final hurdle we have fallen but we've put up more of a fight than i expected a really high quality match and the biggest disappointment is that this frame's been awful and after four brilliant frames off camera i've shown you an absolutely awful one but hang on a minute look what's happened this game does not want to be over neil robertson's 11 points ahead but he snookered himself on the pink and if he leaves us a chance at a pot here which he has with an awful safety shot we're gonna win this frame everyone i was already talking about the defeat and look at the safety shot neil robertson's just played he has left a straight pink to the corner pocket and it should be so easy to get on the black here and 11 points behind with 13 remaining we are gonna steal victory here how on earth have we got through in this match and how has neil robertson thrown it away five points behind the black's gotta go in and it is is gonna drop in what a victory one of the worst frames we have ever played in this career after four brilliant ones don't forget the last frame was a break of 120 and this one we've snuck through with a break of 13 after neil robertson throws it away on the pink he's snooking himself and although he got out of it he left us an easy pot on the last two balls a high break of 120 was the biggest of the match and we sneak through to the fourth round of the gibraltar open we certainly didn't deserve it in that frame but i over the course of the match we just about did enough. 
Our reward for that very fortuitous victory is another left-hander, Mark Williams, the world number three. We've already played him in a ranking final this year and had one or two other games against him. So he should be a cracker as the previous ones have been. And if it is as exciting as the last one, we will obviously show you some action from him. But for now, that will be all from this episode. If you did enjoy that dramatic final frame, please do put a thumbs up on the video. Let me know what you thought of it. I can assure you the four frames before were really high quality. No no breaks under 50 to win the frame and it seemed very strange that both players froze at the finish line particularly Neil Robertson I couldn't explain that shot at the end and there were a couple before it that weren't much better but either way we're into the last 16 and that's the most important bit from our point of view we are playing another left-hander Mark Williams and let me know how you think we'll get on against him the one positive since the update is the game is obviously vastly improved it's still just as immersive though and we are now starting to build breaks a bit more fluently we seem to be getting to 50 at ease so we are on course for greatness and hopefully we'll be at the top of our game by the time we reach the world championships which I think may be the next event let me go and have a look at the schedule to see how we're going along there's one more to go the China Open and then we will be back for the world championship qualifiers so an action-packed end to our first season to come and I really hope you'll enjoy the content and join me for the ride in the next few weeks subscribe to the channel for weekly content from this career every Friday Friday at 4.30. There's also daily FM19 content from two long-term stories, as well as three episodes a week from our Cricket 19 career. That one's every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at midday, and our Football Manager content is every day at 4.30, aside from the Friday when this snooker one's out. If you are a fan of other sports games, please do go and check the other content out on the channel. And a massive thank you for your support with all of the series across the channel. I really do appreciate it. But a massive thanks for watching this one and your continued support as always. And I hope to see you next time for another big match as we try to progress in this Gibraltar Open.